I don't like to push products on anyone, and I thought by not disclosing the brands that I was using and simply describing the type of product, that somehow that would be more helpful. I tried to use brands and products that are readily available across the world that any brand would pretty much carry and from different budget points as well. Products that you likely already own so that you can recreate the looks then and there without needing to go out and purchase anything. However, I have now realized that that isn't the most helpful, that you want to know what brands I use and what brands I would recommend. So this week I'm putting together a list of my favorites. And I would also love to hear what your recommendations are too so that we can help each other find products products that work for us. So I'd really love your help on that part. If you see a brand that's unavailable in your country that I'm talking about here, I would love if you would suggest a brand that is more readily available where you are. So please let me know what country you're from and what brand you like to use and I will add them to the list. And I'm really excited to hear your suggestions and thank you ahead of time for your help on that. Now with all that said, let's get started. When it comes to eyeshadows, I want to start off with the most important. There is one eyeshadow that you really need to focus on. It is the one eyeshadow that adds shape and structure to the eyes, can be used alone or used to create a blend with your other eyeshadows. So whether you're doing a cut crease, a smoky eye, a dramatic look, a simple look, this is the one eyeshadow that you will add into that mix. And once you find this eyeshadow, you will purchase it again and again. I spoke about this eyeshadow before, but I think it's better if I just show you an example of what I'm talking about. The best way to find this eyeshadow for you is to swatch your favorite nude lipstick, blush, bronzer, and contour or even just lay them out in front of you. Now imagine if you mixed all of these together. Don't actually mix them, just imagine it. You'd probably end up with something that looks like this. This is the perfect shade for this combination. It's not as warm as my bronzer, it's not as cool as my contour, it has a hint of my blush. And if you find that too difficult, just have a look at how it matches with my nude lipstick. It's just a little bit more muted, and that is how you find this for you. And here's another combination. So lipstick, blush, bronzer, contour. And here are two eyeshadows. Now I want you just to think about it for a second. Which one do you think would work better with this combination? Probably this one. It fits with everything that we have going on. Now how about between these two? It's a little trickier, but I think we'd still keep with the original one because it's a more muted version and it works with everything. Now you have to make sure that this eyeshadow is matte and usually you apply it with a fluffy brush or even your fingertips. It's a very sheer amount that goes on the lid. So if you do see a swatch online and you're not sure if it's gonna work for you because it just looks a little bit too strong, just imagine what it would look like if you applied it very sheerly. So just look at the shade and the tone and just imagine that the depth can be adjusted with the application. So let me go through a few of my favorite examples. I'm gonna be using MAC just as a starting point. Not that you have to use MAC eyeshadows, but the great thing about MAC is that you can typically find dupes for it. So if you want to put in, for example, I have Soft Brown by MAC. Just go to Google and just type in a soft brown dupe for MAC eyeshadow and you're going to get a few different combinations. Or if you want to do hoax eyeshadow, you type that in, you're going to get Max Factor Dreamy number two. Another great thing about MAC is that it actually gives you a little description of what the color is right underneath. And you can use this to find out what's going to work best for you. All you're going to look for is something that matches something that you already use. So say if you're a peachy blush type of person, then you're going to look for the word peachy and you're going to look for the word soft and muted in the combination as well. That way you're going to make sure that it's going to work really well on the eyes alone, but also going to blend out any of your other eyeshadows as well. Here are a few of my favorite MAC eyeshadows that I would use for this. Unfortunately, most of my go-tos have been discontinued and I have some that are unopened because I knew they were gonna get discontinued, so I can't exactly link the ones that I use the most often, but I will try to find some dupes as best as I can and share those instead. Now there's a few different palettes that I like as well. The Pixie Mushroom shade. I love this when I'm looking absolutely exhausted and I just need a little bit of something on my eyes. It works every time. I also love a few of their other shadows in this palette. So it's a great palette to have. Then we have this Melting Cream Balm number 20. It is a cream, but it blends really effortlessly into the skin. And I can use this on my eyes, on my face, on my lips. It just works completely all over and it creates this very seamless look and very understated as well. 
well. Something else that isn't an eyeshadow is actually this bronzer as well. I love this bronzer for when I am super pale. I am a ghost. I never leave the house, but I do put fake tan on probably like once a week, but I do get away with wearing this even on my ghostly days. I also like the Naked palette. It has a few different shades in there. These are classics because they really have those neutrals, whether you are doing an eye makeup look or whether you're just going very understated and just want a little something to bring out your eyes. Now, if you need any more help finding your mid-tone, definitely let me know. Just let me know a few different things about you, even what your favorite nude lipstick is or your favorite blush and bronzer combination is, and we'll try and find the right one for you. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one. As always. Okay. And as always, my friends. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one. Woo! I don't finish like that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear.